Hello there, my darlings, and welcome to another Let's Build Newcraft. I hope you enjoyed that little intro. Took me ages to think of that. Took me ages to try and work out how to do that because I am not good with editing, I tell you. But welcome. Welcome back. To Let's Build Newcrest, to Higging Bottom House, my loves. The infamous Eleanor Higging Bottom is here. She's just down there. You can just see her just peeking up. We're going to go down. Oh, wrong button, that one. <laughs> We're going to go down and meet Eleanor Higging Bottom. Now, she's only, I've only made her at the minute because, oh, she's got a bit of a bad back. It's all of that bending over the flat. Where are we going? <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. that. That's just ruined it, isn't it? Absolutely ruined it, that did. But anyway, welcome. We're on part one of Higging Bottom House, my loves. We're going to be moving in, Eleanor, into the house today. Here she is. The beautiful Eleanor Higginbottom. Neighbourhood brawl. She wouldn't be into that kind of thing. She's into other, th other kinds of brawling. I'll elaborate a bit more on that as we go on. But this is Eleanor. Now, don't be deceived. She looks like butter wouldn't melt in her mouth. She's very much into the community. Very, very much into the community. Um, I would probably see her around the age of maybe like 60, 63, maybe. Um, she obviously owns the flower, uh, the florist on Newcrest Promenade. She kind of came, one of the first characters we were kind of thinking of. So you, if you've watched that one, you will know what Eleanor gets up to after hours we're going to be doing a basement um in this build to suit what eleanor gets up to after hours um this might give you a little hint let's see what eleanor wears to bed shall we i think you might be able to see it already i haven't done any of the other outfits yet so don't judge me i've just done these two <laughs> well that is a subtle change isn't it that is a subtle change i'm living for the curvy girl she looks absolutely amazing in that lingerie. I am living for her. But we need to get her back into her normal attire before any of the neighbours see. Because we do not want Eleanor's double life getting out to too many people. She wouldn't care. She wouldn't give a shit. But I'm still going to keep it that way. I really am. So yeah, I would. She's a single. She's a single lady. A single lady about the town. She does, however, have four poodles well i'm going to be making the four poodles but what we're going to be doing is naming the four poodles together now i want some amazingly funny creative poodle names we're going to do two girls and two boys so the poodle names are up to you down below you can do double barrel names you could do whatever you bloody like the funniest ones will win and i will pick them next time now, before we go in and start the build, I will say um, I'm going to be bringing out Let's Build Newcrest this week as well. So the next one will, it might not be after this episode. It might come a bit later on in the week um, for reasons of I think you guys can guess what is happening very soon and with The Sims 4. So I need to start planning and prepping videos for that occasion um, whenever that may be. Things are up in the air at the minute. Um, but yes, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say on the matter. So let's get into build mode and let's make Eleanor's beautiful Victorian, if you will. Um, it's going to be kind of a villa, I think. I've kind of picked out the theme I want to go for. Lots of white, lots of brick. Very London-esque. It's going to probably have around about three to four bedrooms, including a basement. The basement is going to be her party zone. So we're going to put a bar down there with some stripper poles. <laughs> it's going to be very creative. And that is what we're going to be here for today. So yes, let's crack on, my loves. Let's do this. Okay, I've got no reference images or anything with this. I, it's kind of a build that I'm very comfortable in building. So I'm, do, I'm just going to crack on and see what we come up with. And that is going to be the mantra for today, my loves. Um, I hope you're all all right. I really do. I hope you are all safe. Um. I know how crazy the world is at the minute and 
I always feel like the wrong kind of person to speak on these matters, but that's bullshit. If there's if there's something bad going on in the world and something that I don't believe or don't stand for, I'm going to raise my voice and I'm going to use that voice and platform to tr just try and make people understand that there are people out there struggling. If you don't like this, if you don't want to listen to this, then don't. <laughs> just really don't. I, however, think it's important, especially with me as a platform, to kind of voice my opinions on this kind of thing and not stand for injustice, especially when so many of my friends are getting hurt in the process. Um, I'm not just going to stand idly back and I don't want to speak on political matters because that's bullshit. This isn't political matters. This is... Uh, it's a human rights matter. There's a lot of difference there. There's a lot of massive difference there. So I just want to say, quickly, I've I've shared my opinions everywhere, but I've just wanted to voice it to you guys that I'm going to be standing with you throughout everything and I will be an ally and support in however you may need. So feel free if you are um, a person of colour or if you're black, then please let me know where I can help. I am doing my best to help in the ways that I know I can but um and feel free if you are if you can put links in the like my comments for people to go and donate to um bail out funds anything any kind of charity that will help this movement then feel free to do so and I don't want to hear anybody coming back in the comments saying oh you shouldn't have said this like on your channel I don't come here for this if you don't come here for this then piss off and go and find something else to watch because I, I'm I am not letting anybody come between me and what is right and that is all where we're going to leave it today back to building oh we've made, already made a start look at that i'm kind of feeling that already i am yeah i think i like that we are going to raise this up as well i am going to have stairs going up to this side not feeling this roof just yet i think we're going to concentrate on doing the front facade first before we go into the back and stuff uh i think that would be a nice way to do things so i'm going to whiffle this up my loves whiffle it right up to about there Oh yes, this is far too close to the front at the minute. Um, I kind of want it to be as far back as uh, this house here, which I still haven't rectified yet. Don't worry, it will get rectified before the speed, before the save file was coming out. Um, right, let's get the wallpapers on first because that will help me pick the um, the stairs, the stairs and whatnot. I'm thinking this one down here. Love this one, very London townhouse. Esque. I love it. And this wallpaper here, I haven't used this yet. So I'm definitely going to be using it. Definitely going to be using it on this one, my loves. Without a shadow of a doubt. Yes. Yes, I'm here for that. Um, I'm going to whiffle this another level up. It's going to be a three-story house. Do we want to go big at the top as well? Yeah, I think we do. I want this to be quite a substantial looking house from the front. Um, but still quite slim line. You see how kind of slim line this is. I may have things coming out on the sides and stuff, but I like the way that this is going to be looking in the front here. Yeah, I very much do. <laughs> uh, bloody hell. But uh, I had a nice bike ride yesterday. I don't know if you've seen my... And I don't know if you've seen my Instagram, but if you're not following my Instagram, fucking rude, if you ask me. The link is down below in the description box. And I think you should go and follow it. Because if not, I shall slap you across the face. That's all that comes down to. <laughs> Obviously, I won't. Not hard, anyway. <laughs> um, but, yeah, rude. Get down there and follow me. Absolutely hideous if you don't, to be honest. <laughs> I am joking, but please do. <laughs> and my Twitter as well. While we're here. Let's flop the Twitter in there as well. <laughs> Okay, let me see how that looks to the side there. Oh, that's very nice. We're going to be using some pillars for sure. Um, these, ah, oh, I was going to use these at the top. Why did I flop them up there? I did kind of, oh, I don't know actually. Let me put them up there first. Let me have a little looky. Little looky. Oh, no, I can. Do I like that? Let's have a look. I think I, I think I actually prefer those windows to these. Oh, I kind of like them as well. Let's, let's just try. While we're here, we're going to try, aren't we? Why am I 9,000 miles away from what I'm building, as per usual? Oh, I don't know. I kind of like that. Oh, I think I like that more. It's very Georgian, actually. This is kind of going to the Georgian territory, which I'm here for as well, to be honest. 
Um, yeah, I'm here for that. Okay, right. Uh, we'll choose the foundation in a minute, but first up, I do need to get a little small platform out the front here. Oh, we're going to go down to the basement though, aren't we? Yeah, let's move the lot back first to where we're going. To where we're going, we're going to go to about... Your stairs are there, so I'm going to plop you to about there. Lovely. Yes. Just a little bit further back. Because I do want to do like a little moment in the front here with like hedges and rose gardens and stuff. Just to make it look as innocent as possible when really this house is full of sexual debauchery. And that is Mrs. Higginbottom's mantra. And I'm here for it, to be honest. I stand a woman who can stand up to her sexual preferences and whatnot. I stand anybody who can do that, to be honest. Yes. Yeah, I think I like that. I do, but I will be. Do I want to? No, I don't. I'm going to keep that to there. I am going to maybe widen that, though, to there. Yes, because then we can get some nice pillars. I know that the pillars in university are really... um, They'll, be, they'll suit this build. They will. These ones here, they come in a lovely white as well. Oh, they do look. They match that doll frame it perfectly we're gonna do it absolutely um we're gonna do whiffle one there to there do we want to do it in the middle of the windows as well i think we do yeah this is going to be one of my let's slap as many pillars as we can on the build as possible and that my loves is a mood hmm i kind of want to show a bit of the red brick off to be honest so i may just test out just doing the middle for look Oh, oh! it's got so much more drama with that on in the front, though. Yeah, piss it. We're going to do that. We're going to do it. And it's going to be gorgeous. Oh, yes. We're going to do some balcony moments on there as well. Did university come with balconies? Did they have some? They did. Oh, yeah, but then... Oh, I don't know, actually. That might look... Or... Oh, oh, yes. Oh, I think I will. Let's have a little... Let's have a little whiffle of that, shall we? Mm, maybe not in the middle ones. No, that looks weird. That looks weird. Um, that was just too much on the front there. Ooh, what about if I do my own? I know that they come of a fence as well, didn't they? They come of a lovely fence. I'm thinking about using that. Um little update for you as well guys my office preparations it's all coming along nicely still got to paint the floor and stuff yet i'm painting my floorboards white um but everything else is coming along swimmingly oh i kind of like that i think let me just whiffle this in one more oh i do like that there's something not right here let me try something let me try this what about if i do this like here 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 and here. Ooh. Ah, oh, the only problem is... No, maybe we'll just do that in the middle. If I can do these in the middle... Because I like these posts here. And then just do these on the ends. Just so we do get that post then. Oh, yes. That's the ticket. The absolute ticket is right there for us all to see. And I'm for it. Right, let's get a basement going in. Sexual. Sexual. Sexual basement. If anybody ever's watched the sitcom Miranda, I'd be very interested to know. It was absolute iconic. Um what do you Americans get a Miranda over there? Miranda's the uh, a sitcom in the UK with a lady called Miranda. Miranda Hart, she's a comedian, she is a queen. Um I'd be interested to know if you Americans get it. Because if you don't, you have to watch it. Seriously, you will absolutely die. You will piss your knickers. Honestly, you will wee yourself. I don't know if I like the border down there. It doesn't really make sense, does it? We have got a kind of a matching brick with that, haven't we? Is it this one? Um. Oh, oh. Eh. <laughs> well, no, it is the exact same brick. They just decided not to give us the right swatch. They just recolored that. Which, um, which, yes, I won't go into it further. 
Not going to do any kind of steps from here either. We're going to keep it like it is there. Oh, yes. Yes. And maybe I could use those windows that we were going to use down here. Oh, no, because they've got the weird, like, roof bit on them, haven't they? Can we do these, like, in a darker grey down here, maybe? Um, I think they're a bit too ornate for a, a cellar. Um, a cellar window. A cellar door. Cellar door. <laughs> I've heard that in the English language, the most beautiful word or, yeah, words to use, like, to hear from a foreign perspective is cellar door, as in, like, a, a, a door of a cellar. Is that true? I would like to know. Um, I mean, they do kind of match. They kind of do. Let's have a little looky. What's with the window situation going on? Why are you frosted? Oh, it's because they has not got a basement, you silly bum. Right, let's get in this actual basement going on. Um, We'll do it in the same footprint of the house as well. Should be enough space in there for some actual debauchery. Yeah, I still don't think they're the right windows, though. I think they need to be darker. I think they need to be darker down here. Um, and a little bit less ornate. Um, let me find the perfect one. One second. Okay, so I went for these two smaller arched windows from um, the University Pack. And this one from Realm of Magic. Nice little fancy door we got going on there. I would like to move these windows slightly along. We will be able to do that very soon. So I'm going to do that as soon as we get that update, my loves. Because that will be iconic. Now I'm thinking about using this one here. I think it... Oh, yes. Queen. Oh. Hit me. <laughs> yeah, I think that one. It's just keeping in with that grey aesthetic on the downstairs as well. Oh. Yes, Queen. Yeah, I'm there for that. I am. Look at me being absolutely here for it. Now, we do need a little um, trim going around the edges, but I'm not going to go massively too ornate with it, I don't think. I mean, I could try this one, but it's massive, isn't it? Aren't you big? You are big. Oh, you're so big. <laughs> I'm getting filth in this, and it's only because it, Mrs. Higginbottom is an absolute bad influence She's filth. Absolutely filth. I just spat everywhere again. <laughs> I'm going to be known as the Spitty Simmer. <laughs> Maybe I should change my name. <laughs> Maybe I should change my name from Devin Bumpkin to Spitty Simmer. <laughs> no, please don't. And don't you dare shade me in the comments. I can just see it now. You're all going to be starting calling me Spitty Simmer, aren't you? Filth. Filth, filth, filth. Yes, that's better. That gives it a bit of structure and I like it. I do. Oh, look at that. I'm into it. Okay. We're going to ornate this up a little bit more. I just first need to get a little roadmap of where we are going with this build. So, let's get downstairs. So, this is going to be the main entrance. I want a big ass staircase coming straight down to that floor. Like there is no tomorrow. So, Eleanor can sweep down it in her sexual lingerie. And seduce who's ever at the bottom. We're definitely going to be giving her a butler as well. So she'll have four dogs and a butler. We definitely need a three wide staircase here. Because it is a moment that must be lived. Um, hmm. We'll just get in some rough stairs until we can go in. And is this three wide? It is. Oh, yes, queen. Yeah, she will be. She'd be flopping down that staircase like no tomorrow, wouldn't she? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, right. So this is going to be a bit weird. I'm just going to pull this back for the meantime, see if we can get a floor plan out of what we've just got there. So, it's obviously a uh, Georgian house, so it will have the kind of same layout as a Victorian, but I do want to do this kind of a little bit different, maybe. So maybe if I can do like a kind of... I'll get rid of that wall for the minute, actually, just so I can... Have a little look, see at what we've got here. Let's get that grid on as well. Um, right, so I kind of want an archway to be here. So this would kind of make sense being the formal living area, wouldn't it? 
that would make sense being the formal living area. Um, hmm. Let me have a little think, actually. Okay, that's a bit better. It's going to change the structure on the sides. As I said, it would. We'll get kind of thick towards the back. Oh. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. That's all there is to it, really. <laughs> this is going to be a chimney breast. <laughs> a chimney breast. So, we're going to flop this all the way up to the top. Stunning. And we'll definitely do a nice brick moment on that. I really wish that it came... Let's have a look at all the wallpaper. Surely it came with a plain brick university pack. No. No, not at all. Not at all. Didn't want to match in with that. Didn't fancy it. Didn't fancy it. Didn't think... Do you know what? Let's give him a plain brick just to match in with that. So it could, could tie in perfectly with it. No? Okay. Great. <laughs> but um, we'll carry on. Does this match in with it okay? I mean, it kind of does actually, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll do that then. We'll have to go into city living. That was city living, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Just to do a plain chimney boest. All the way to the top. Boest. <laughs> Don't know why that's so funny to me. It's probably because I'm a child. And things like that always is always funny to me. Yes. Okay. Yep. Here for that. Here for that. So, what we've got here, look, is the main... Not main living room. Yeah, it's a, it's the uh, formal living area. My thoughts were having it an area to be able to go back through straight into the kitchen. We're going to have a small garden like off to the side of this house. I'm not going to do like a massive moment at the back because I want the kitchen to have its own conservatory off to the side here maybe. So maybe if we can, we definitely need to get a toilet in here. So we need to leave space for that. Um... I normally put the toilet behind the stairs, which it could go there again, actually. Definitely need a downstairs loo. We also need basement access down to the sexual dungeon. And, and, um, yeah, where are we going to put that there? It's, it's because I've done a free wide staircase, but I think that moment looks just, oh, très chic. Um, <laughs> so sorry i'm so sorry for my french i'm so sorry i'm so i'm so sorry about it <laughs> um and then i want a little a little conservatory moment onto the kitchen but not necessarily going all the way up to meet that wall at the back there we can do something a little bit interesting there let's have a look at that yeah i think that will look moist when it's done Yes. Yes, I do believe so. But the question is, maybe I can, I'm getting rid of most of this garden now. I realize that. But I, as I said, it's just going to be a small little decking area out, off to the side and a nice little rose garden off to this one, I believe. Yes. So would we be able to put a staircase? Let me see where that basement flops out to. It comes to about there. Ooh, let me have a little think. Okay, so I've decided to... It, as nice as it was having a free wide staircase, it just wasn't practical. So I've put it just off to the side, so it kind of like sweeps around. I'm unsure if I'm going to use a half wall here yet. I may do like a fancy fence, depending on what we can put on the railing system for the stairs. And then this, can, this isn't the layout that we're going to keep down here, by the way. We're going to... For a start, do that. Oh, there, that's perfect, yes. <laughs> and we're going to segregate this into rooms. We're going to have a couple of rooms with two double beds in as well. For that kind of shenanigans. Um, Woohoo central and all that, my loves. Yeah, I thought this would be nice. And I'm thinking... I'm not going to... I'm going to roof this bit here. In fact, I'm going to do that now while we're here. I'm going to roof this bit. Yes, like so just to where the stairs start i'll flop this in like so um will they will this get rid of the stairs though i think it will it? no it won't okay yes and then we'll come out over the top there let's get that grid on so i and get down to the working level once again aiden you silly bum okay yes yes i'm here for that okay 
Now, I need to get this little layout sorted up here as well. But we'll do it on cam just so you can see me struggle. Because I know how much you like to watch me struggle. Now, we can just ignore this wall here for the minute. In fact, we're going to flop it open like so. We need a nice two wide hallway going all through. There we go to like say there. And then we can easily now pinpoint off rooms on where we can go. I think she would have her room on the first floor. And it would be a very substantial room. So maybe something of that caliber. I know it's huge, but we'll do like a dressing room and stuff. I'm not going to do the proper floor plan just yet. I'm going to get the rooms mapped out. We may segregate the rooms into like dressing rooms and all things like that. Um, okay. And then what I could probably do here. I could even widen this actually to a three wide hallway. Oh, that's nice. Yes, I'm enjoying that. We'll have this as her ensuite off to the bedroom there but with access as well we could even make that a kind of main-esque bathroom too we do need to get stairs in here as well don't forget so i will probably put the stairs at the back of here let's see because we're going to go up again oh, we don't we don't even need to go up too substan substantially either we could quite easily what are you doing there we go I could come straight up from these stairs. But no, in fact, we'll go to there. That makes it a little bit more elaborate. We'll come to here. Yes, we've got this lovely flow through here. This could be a balcony at the back here. With access straight from the hallway, which is lovely. Oh, yeah, I love that moment there. And then here I could have a little guest bedroom just here which would be nice let's close all that off even though it's not going to get recognized as a room because this is a silly bum there we go and what about you my love no other reason for no other reason for it oh we do need to come out there actually well this is going to be a balcony moment anyway so we could quite easily just go over the top of this and come out the same width as the what the balcony moment is going to be. In fact, let's carry that balcony moment all across here. Just so I'm getting in a good amount of space on the outside here. Come on, darling. Work with me, Sheila. All the way along. Oh, excuse you. All the way along to there. Yes. Um, there's not going to be any kind of modern extension on the back of this either. I know. I know what you're all thinking. What? No modern extension on the back of this. That's crazy. And yes, it is. I've just thought we probably won't be able to do that along here. Main reasons being, I do want this to be a conservatory moment off to the side here. So I do need that to be a roof. So maybe once I've got the roof on top of what we're going to be doing here. It might make a bit more sense. I'm just going to I'm just going to roughly put it on there. This roof probably won't stay this way, but I just need to get a feel and a moment going in my head. Um, do I want to use this for the conservatory roof? I do want it to be quite a classic looking conservatory. Maybe I could segregate the roofs off like this. Just to give me that vibe. Oh, um, what are you doing? There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Is that going to be too steep? I think that might be a bit too steep. Um, hmm. Now let's get out of there. Let's just put a normal roof on for the minute. And we'll come back into it and do it later. At a later date when we know what we're doing. I am going to put glass on there though just to get a feel for it. There we go. Okay. So yeah, nice like half wall or even using actually. The same moment that we've got going out here with here. So this can be a little outside space. Oh yeah, that, that will look cool. I definitely have to change this roof type. But I do enjoy that. It's a shame I can't... Oh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to... Oh, I'm going to move this closer. I'm going to move the whole lot closer. 
to go to the front. Which gives us a little bit of more space here now to make this a little bit more regular. So what I'll do is pull the conservatory right out. Like so. Whiffle that to there. Flop it down to there. And skadoodly doodle, to be honest. <laughs> to be perfectly truthful with you, lovely. Skadoobly doo boo. <laughs> I said it completely wrong, Travis. How I said it the first time. Story of my life. Um, what have we got going on here? We've got the toilet down here. I'm just going to make this a little bit more regular on the side so it's not too flat. And do the same here. Just off the stairs. Yes. Let me have a look at that. Oh, yes. Absolutely. We're definitely changing this roof. But I just want to get that moment flopping through. <laughs> just for, you know, the shits and giggles of it all. Right, okay. Got that moment going on there. Lovely. So we've got two bedrooms downstairs. We could get two, another two beds. So it will be a four bed, which is nice. Nice substantial sizing as well. Um, we'll get some other rooms going on up here as well. Oh, sorry. I just banged my mic like it was no tomorrow then, didn't I? Apologies. Apologies. Let me have a look at that. Yes, I think once there's pillars and stuff going up on here, this will kind of start to make a bit more sense. It looks a bit weird at the minute, but I know in my head that it will work. I just know. I just know. Oh, nice size bathroom there. Um, A little guest suite here. Lovely. We won't do any more outside space at the top here. We'll just keep it primarily bedrooms. Spare bedrooms. Yeah, I would imagine she never got married. Yeah, I would have definitely... Oh, what about a little balcony moment off to the side here? Maybe. Maybe if I come to, like, there, I could have a little balcony moment off to the side. Yes, I think I might. We'll see. We'll see on that. We will see. But, yeah, I would imagine she never got married. Um... She wanted to, but she's just enjoyed her debauchery lifestyle a bit too much and men couldn't handle it. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the story, okay? Stick into that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not feeling that there like that. So I'm going to pull this out to here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do... Um, what did we do down there? That was her bathroom. Hmm. Maybe if I pull this in, actually. I'm going to pull you in. Bloop you off to there. And then unsquare that. And maybe just make... I don't know. We'll figure the floor plan out a bit later. But that shape there wasn't working for me. But look at it. It looks a bit weird about all the wallpapers and stuff on. But as soon as the wallpapers were on, it might start to look okay. Oh, I don't know. I can't think I preferred it the way it was before. Can we, um... Yeah, like that. That's fine. Let's get the wallpapers on first. And that will give us a better understanding of what we're trying to do here. Um, first off, we need to change this for the brick. Brick, I say. Oh, that's the wrong brick. Dude, there we go. Oh, yes, queen. Yeah, that one. This one is going all the way around. Maybe not on the conservatory. Maybe not on that conservatory, my love. And I'm not going to do a brick on that either. We don't want that to look like it's a chimney. Because it's not a chimney. Okay. And then we're going to get that elaborate brick now. Stop plonking it. On the midsections. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, excuse you. I think I might do that on that. And I am, however, going to copy this. No, don't want to. Okay. Copy this up to here. Obviously, this needs to change now. But we'll do that. Let me just see this moment that we've got going on. Yeah, I do like it. Very Georgian. Very here for it. And I'll flop that on that again. Yes, Queen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling this now. This is starting to come together. 
My vision is becoming a vision. I'm... <laughs> I'm going to, however, bring this into there. And just take that out a few to there. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Right, we're going to kind of do a flat roof moment. But I may, like, pull the... Uh, half wall up just a little bit higher than I normally would like I've only done like a two one there maybe go on up a little more yeah that's a massive jump I always forget about that I hate that so much where's the medium ground between this and this it's right there I can see it but did they want to do that no no they did not absolutely not <laughs> um do we want to take that all the way I think what I'll do is take it all the way to there all the way to here and just pull this let's have a look yes and then this here can be a shorter half wall just slightly see that's a nice slight difference in height isn't it just wish they could have all been like that let's have a little look at that yes that's giving me the vibe this is obviously going to have a chimney breast upon it. I don't know what we're going to do with this yet. I don't know if we're going to balcony that off or whatnot. Or I may even like... I don't know. Hmm. Oh, let me just see. Let me just see what this would look like around, around there. Oh, I kind of like that, actually. Yeah, I do like that. Still got to put trims and that on as well. So don't fret, pet. It's all going to be all right. Like that. Stunning. Oh, stunning. Yes. Needs more white up the top. Maybe if I use this up the top instead. Mm, is that too much white? Yeah, that's too much white. So we're not going to get a happy ground there. Um, I may even use that university trim at the top now. Oh, yeah, I forgot it doesn't like to do that. It goes around to these bits instead. I mean, that's lovely and all, but it's just covering up that detail that I love on that wallpaper. So maybe if we go a bit smaller with this. Not that small, though, like this small. I mean, you can still see a bit of that detail. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I do. I like that. I do. I may change out, actually. Just... Ah, oh, it's going to be the wrong squares. I was thinking... <laughs> mm, it looks stupid anyway, so I don't want to do that. Yeah, I think this is starting to come along a little bit nice now. Okay, right, I'm going to concentrate on getting the front portion looking nice and stuff now. We've kind of got a basic shape of what the build's going to be. I'm unsure if this will stay the way it does, but I, so far, I, I like it. I love the, I don't know, it's got like a presence. A bit like Eleanor, she's got a presence as well. Men are infatuated with her. They find her very intriguing. Right, this is the wrong roof to use here. I think the best roof to use would probably be the half-hipped half roof, maybe. Let me get that into the corner. That's the wrong way, darling. Come here. Let's be about there. Let's whiffle this into the corner there. That down to there. That needs to go in again now. To there. And if I can shuffle this down. Oh, I don't know if I like that. No, I don't like that. I do not. I'm going to pick the perfect roof. I think this needs a little bit of aid and time. That sounds wrong. Okay. What I've done is we shortened this like long bit of flat roof that we had going on there. Obviously, that's changed the floor plan on the inside. We'll sort that out. Don't you worry. Um, and what I did was just do copy this uh, fencing over to this side. And obviously, we'll put some nice windows on these pieces here. I'm thinking maybe... 
I always forget that it's going to be a two. Uh, is that is that three? Yeah, I think it's three, isn't it? Oh, okay. Damn! Oh, I didn't think about that. Did not think about that, my darlings. Won't lie. Won't lie to you. So we'll definitely have to find some windows to go on there. That will sit quite comfortably in the middle. Shouldn't be too hard. But, um, yeah. I think so far we're, we're kind of getting there with the shape of the house and stuff. We've definitely, definitely made a start. That's for sure. I think what we'll do... Excuse me. <coughs> oh, sorry. I had to have a little cough there. I think I, I also changed this wallpaper is here on the side. It just made it look better with just that, that all white going up onto one side, I think. Um, but yeah, I think we'll leave this part for today where it is. We've made the bare bones start as we normally do in part one of this. Um, obviously, there needs to be a lot of work doing to it. But I'm kind of here for this build. I very much am. Yes. Yes, indeed. But yeah, absolute queen. She's going to be an absolute amazing character to get some storylines involved with. Hello, Eleanor. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll leave this part here today. Don't forget to get some ideas down below, even for her storyline. Like, she, don't forget she likes her parties. They're going to be quite suave, sophisticated, sexual parties. So we need to make sure on that because she's a queen. And don't forget to get some names down below for our poodles as well. Um, the funnier, the better. Uh, I'd be very interested to to, uh, to see. But yeah, it's going to be cool. But we, I, I'll go and we'll put some more gardens and stuff on the sides because obviously she does, she is a florist, so she will need places to grow her gardens and like her flowers and stuff. But yeah. I definitely think this is a good start and that's all that matters. Right, I'll leave you here. The next part, I'm unsure when it will be coming out. It will be out this week sometime. But um, just stay, pay attention to some future videos I've got coming out this week because I think you guys are going to be very excited for it. But hey, um, stay safe. Stay woke. Um, help each other. Be kind to each other. And I will see you all in the next part. Bye, friends.